Packers in the second round of the 63rd UAAP men's basketball season. Mabuay Pilipinas and welcome to the UAAP Games. I'm Bill Velasco with Freddie Webb coming to you live from the Araneta Coliseum. And Freddie, though there is a lot of pride at stake in this game, this game actually means more for the Ateneo than De La Salle. Well, it is. The, you know, Atene La, La Salle is eschewing already for okay. the number one position. But then again, you know, the hey, positions bye. don't matter. Okay. I mean, they say what matters is a win. To these guys, there's no such thing as not important, important well, no positioning. Well, no inches given, no, no, everything is there. All right, now, just to let you know what's going to happen today, if Ateneo wins over De La Salle, they will be assured of second spot and a twice to beat advantage in the final four. If they lose and if FEU wins later against uh, UE, then they will have a playoff on Thursday. So things will be very exciting every step of the way for uh, the UAAP uh, men's basketball season. And as you said, Freddy, Talagang ibang klase pag nagaharap ang Ateneo at ang Lasal. And this rivalry has gone back generations and it seems to be heightening every right. season. That's right. Uh, papanik ng papanik yung uh, oh, sabaan ng lobo, galit, o talagang pagpapakita ng, uh, ng, ng galing sa paglalaro. No? But it's very important, uh, Bill, to qualify what you mentioned earlier about how important this game is, particularly for for uh, Lasal no? or Ateneo. Because Ateneo has got to make the top two. Because on top oh. two, there's the advantage of getting to beat twice. Okay. Uh, see, it's only two games. Whatever happens, if there's a tie, of course there's a there's a playoff. Uh, but then again, after the playoffs, whoever makes the top two, all you need is to win one of the two games. Oh, at ngayon uh, tinitingnan natin yung uh, mga stats nung uh, sila ay uh, unang nagharap on opening day, and you can see it was a good first half for Ateneo. Then. De La Salle threw its defensive pressure at them and uh, ran a rough shot all over the Blue Eagles in the second half. What happened there? Well, um, uh, you see, there was a secret weapon by Pumaran, which I think Joe Lipa didn't notice. Or if he did, he, he forgot about it, mm -hmm. which was the full court press. And this full court press is what you call para masinasakal ka. Oh. Ano, Talagang it's, it's a press wherein you wouldn't even be able to see the guy that you want to pass the ball to. Hardly had a chance to cross the, the half-court line because of good defense that was thrown on them, a full-court press thrown on them by La Salle. At anong mga pagkakapareho ng uh, De La Salle at ng Ateneo, unang-una sa lahat, they have very deep benches, they have very talented rookies, they have terrific outside shooters, and they have a very cohesive game plan going into each game. That's right, no? Lalo-lalo na sa gitna, ano, partner, no? Sapagkat sa gitna sa Ateneo, nandiyan dyan si Rico Villanueva, nandiyan dyan si Bugia, at nandiyan dyan din si Alvarez, no? Samantalang sa kabila naman, may sagot naman ang Lasal dyan. Dahil nandiyan si Wilson, nandiyan si Santa Maria, at nandiyan pa si, si Ramos. Okay, so, how do you see the tempo of this game going from the opening tip-off? Well, I think, you know, when Lasal starts to go on a full court press, which I think they're not going to use until they have to use hindi it. Pa, hindi pa. Oh, itatago nila yan, eh, no? But anyway, when they start to do that, then the tempo of the game will automatically go on a track team. All right. They'll be running all over, and it's going to be a fast game. One other thing we have to talk about these two teams, syempre, matitindi rin yung mga baguhan nila, yung mga rookies. They've, they have some fabulous freshmen in their lineups, and the coaches place a lot of trust in these players, which is not something that you normally see. Of course, we're talking about Mike Cortez and Magnum Membrere, and uh, these are uh, pretty solid numbers. Membrere has actually saved a couple of games for Ateneo right. the last couple of uh, right. times out. In fact, uh, that game against uh, UP, his three-point shot actually saved them to go on an overtime, finally Tama. win the game. And also that layup against UST. Yo. So, ang tawag nga ni Miko Halili dyan, eh, si Mr. Clutch. Ladies and gentlemen, something that an Ateneo La Salle game always brings out is the leadership qualities in the players. And there are uh, two players who have carried their respective teams thus far. Renren Ren Ritualo, for example, has been a terrific symbol of leadership for the Green Archers. And uh, despite uh, having injured or fractured his ring finger and uh, struggling the last couple of games, he has also been a hero for them. Oh yes, even if his numbers are down, as you notice, no, he's from 16 to uh, down to 5, you know, he's always a leader. Once a leader, you'll always be a leader. So they rely on him, particularly on the flat shot. At sa panig naman natin eh, yung inaasahan nila na mamayani sa kanila sa wakas, he has finally stepped forward and Rico Villarreba will not fall touch him down with the injury. Boldly stated that he will carry this team. Yeah. 
in fact, what he said, partner, was very simple. He said, I'm going to bring my team to the promised land. Wow. So far, it's a straight line. They're using the same path. But then again, what Nassau wants to do is to derail it. They want Ateneo to go on a detour. And these two teams, of course, have a certain kind of intensity that you cannot put a price on when they play each other. But the Satis at TV panel, they uh, make sure that we're balanced. <laughs> so they put together a blue blood like me and a green thinker like you. <laughs> you know, I, I, <laughs> partner, I finally found the answer of why you said once the, the importance of uh, of why this this rivalry between Ateneo and La Salle, when did it really start? Well, to an artist's point of view, you can never mix a blue and a green. Ang pangit na labas. Mabagay. <laughs> so talagang kailangan magbakbakan sila. Oo. Oh, Malamya ang labas. But there will be nothing tepid or weak about this particular game. So the starters being called out now by Rolly Manlapas. And it's called forward number four, Ren Ren Ritualo. Jose Juan Ramos Ritualo. And who's the fifth man? Santa Maria, Coach Franz Pumarin, always dead serious. Alam mo itong dalawang coach natin, si Franz Pumarin and si Jolie Pak. Hindi mo makausap niya pag game day. Uh, palagay ko, hindi mo masisisi. No? Because the pressure is so much on them that uh, full concentration, they want to give it all to the game. They, want, they don't want an undivided attention. Right. The starters for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. You've got... Cruz, Season, Bugia, Alvarez, and Gonzalez. And this is the big one. Whatever the bearing of this game, Basta La Sala you can throw all that out the window. This is for Pride. The Green Archers have first possession. Well, this is a kind of a lineup that we never expected Coach Lipa to have. You know, this is something that is un unexpected. At medyo malalaki. Cruz gets a foul. It looks like it'll be on Jose. And pardon us for yelling, but we can't help it. The decibel level here is really climbing with every second of the game. Turnover by the Blue Eagles. Well, that so was you a can good see major ten spot. Exactly, but that was a good defense thrown by Santa Maria on Alvarez. You know, he had the hand out there trying to allow this allow the entry of the pass. Retualo. Ramos trying to feed Jose inside, being denied. Still plenty of time on the clock. Napitawa ng bola, Jose. Throws it up, short. Alvarez pulls it down and gets a foul. That shot, was, that shot of Jose really had no chance at all because he was running after a shot clock and it was well, not a well-executed shot, primarily because of the good defense that was thrown in by Ateneo on LaSalle. Great point. And we have a close-up courtside update with Pia Arcangel for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Pia? Thanks so much, Bill. You already mentioned earlier that this is really a, a crucial game for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. But more than anything, the desire to win for the Blue Eagles comes from pride because to them, this is an Ateneo La Salle game more than it is a game that could mean their spot in the Final Four. But judging from the mood in the dugout, we could say that the Blue Eagles are really more excited than they are nervous. Back to you, Bill and Freddy. Thanks a lot, Pia. Traveling on Rainier Season, and you can see each team rattled at the start of this game because tradition weighs on them, Freddy. Very well said, partner. Ibang ibang laro, no? Pag sila dalawa, makikita mo. Parabang, it takes a lot of time before they can really settle down. Oh, yes, you've got their parents in the stands, you've got their friends, all their loved ones cheering them on. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Ritualo, fall away! Cracks the ice. Now at the other end of the floor for the Green Arches, George Rocha. George? Yeah, right now the only thing that Coach Franz is hoping is that his team won't play the way they did the first time they met, where they started out flat and they were only able to recover at the second half of the game. Now another thing they're worried about is that the team might be too jittery under all this pressure they're getting from their school. 
and they would be able to execute well. Now the players on the other hand aren't really that nervous and jittery. They're more excited, just like the crowd. Back to you, Bill and Freddy. Thanks a lot, George. And Rich Alvarez tried to go for a dunk, picked up a foul from Santa Maria. Alvarez has been a revelation. He and uh, Bubia really carried a lot of the load in the front line for Ateneo. That's right. And, uh, you know, Alvarez has been dubbed as a cool cat, you know. <laughs> Meaning this guy, you can't rattle him, you know, no matter what the pressure is. Two to one. Taking it inside, Kuan. A lot of different looks being shown by each team here. And they move from one type of offense to the other so effortlessly. Your partner is going to nakikita ko na ang gusto nila mag-execute muna ng play, no? But I think that's wrong. When you see an opening, you've got to take advantage of it. You just cannot say, I'm gonna wait and set it up and then wait for my teammates. That was a great idea by Juan to have drove into the basket. So the rest of the guys from La Salle, they just have continued the same way. But keep in mind that they've got to go, draw a good defense on La Salle, primarily on the point guards. Don Aliado, of course, an alumnus of De La Salle in attendance. And, you know, that is something about this kind of a game. It really unifies the school through generations. And our score now reads 3-1 to one for De La Salle. Season inside. Bugia bubbles, surrounded by three, blocked by Ramos. We'll stay with Ateneo. But for Ateneo, they executed well. La Salle threw a full court press, but they were able to pass that ball without even dribbling it. Yun ang, yun ang wala nung una sila nagtagpo. Correct. So now it shows that they have come prepared. Season unable to put up any jumpers so far. The defense has been that tight. Steal by Jose. Lead pass to Ricuala. Picked off by Bugia. They go back the other way. Four on two situation. Gonzalez fakes, goes up, and scores it. Good selection of a shot coming from Gonzalez, you know, using a fake when the guy was committed. It was an easy basket. Got the man into the air and just slid in for the easy bucket. Alvarez fronting Santa Maria. Ramos, that is not his shot. Retualo, oh, he can hit it from anywhere. Leaning in, offensive foul. That's a good call. That is a good call. You know, Ritualo, really, when he was counted, no matter what he went, when he got the ball, you know, he wanted to fish for a foul. But you can see, right here, instead of going straight up, he's going to lean towards his right. And a good defense by Gonzalez. He violated the verticality. Oh, you can do. And Andre, Alvarez handling the ball. Perhaps that's not what Joe Lipa wants. Season looking for a screen. Mugia. It was partially deflected by Ramos underneath. Yes. Offensive board by Gonzalez. Well, when you've points. made one, when you've made one, there's got to be more to follow. Each team now starting to settle down. Mac Kuan. And for an open man, Jose was open. Decided to go inside Santa Maria. He really wreaks havoc in the paint. But they know that Santa Maria can move around in the painted area. That's why every time that he receives it, I think what Ateneo is going to do is they're going to double on him. Oh, you can't get the ball out of the way. Paolo is on season. With Paolo. Off the iron and now no second shots for La Salle so far in this first half. That's right, you know. Ateneo says, you know, you're just going to take one, but we're going to control it. Bogia sidestepping, picked up a foul along the way. Second foul on Ramos. And the action is just so fast. Freddy Comisan, yung dumidipin sa manalaro, naiipit na lang. Ramos will sit down, replaced by Will Wilson. Each team struggling with the free throws in the first half. That's a sure sign of nerves. Yeah, keep in mind that their top center, uh, William Weba for Ateneo, has not played yet. But I think it's being called by Joe Lipa now. He's going to go to the scorer's table for a substitution. Well, the promised land awaits. Six to three, Ateneo. 16 minutes remaining in the first half. Jose. They really try to 
set up with Tala Kuan hanging in the air. It's knocked out. Fresh shot clock for the Green Archers. Well, there was a rotation there wherein Kwan had to play the painted area where he's not really comfortable at. Nakabaliktad. Good screen for Ritualo. Up close, he scores his first bucket. Now make that his second. He has four. At ayan ang inihintay ng Lasal. Oh, oh, you know, well executed play, you know. You know, they knew Ritualo was being played well outside, so he has to attack that basket. Green Archer's backing the post. Mugia over Santa Maria. And look at the boxing out. Oh, really? That was a good boxing out coming from Juan. Juan back to Wilson. Had an open look. Wants to take it closer. In the paint. Just a little too long, but he travels also. Simply because of good defense. And Villanueva will come in for Mugia. Here comes the press again. This is what they use to slow down your offense and throw you out of sync. Well, they've come prepared. <laughs> you notice that was the second time that they were able to cross. In fact, they did very well. Villanueva, offensive foul. He actually fumbled at nasandalan niya si Santa Maria. Tama yun. Nag-struggle siya, binaw siya yung bola. Let's take a close-up look at this foul. Ang mahirap na tumilapon itong si Adonis Santa Maria. Ang laking bata niya. Oo, oh, pero then again, ano, talagang basang-basa ang mga galaw nila. No? Pinag-aralan talaga nila kung alin ang gustong laruin ng player. They're taking that, ga that game away from a particular player. Another offensive foul. This one on Mac Kwan, his second. So the starters of each team, particularly De La Salle, starting to pick up a lot of fouls. Kwan will sit down. You know, when, when you start to go for four shots, so this thing occurs simply because there has been a double or a straight-up defense that's being thrown on a particular player also. So it depends on how much you can do the defense. Season over the new guy, Cortez Villanueva with a rebound. Had his pocket picked. LaSalle on the run. Underneath Juan Jose, all by his loser. Well, look at Cortez, you know, getting that ball away from a bounce from uh, Villanueva, but then he goes home for them to be able to give a, to give a good pass. 7-6, Lasalle. Season for three. It's off. At wala na masyadong rumi-rebound para sa Ateneo. Wala na, pero bumabagsak talaga yung bola sa kamay ng Lasalle. Eh. Retualo shot. A tad short. At ito, maarangkada na yung magkabila ko paraan. They tried the alley to Alvarez. Perhaps a bit too fancy. Back up the other way now. Cortez. Gumawa ng puwang. May tulak sa ilalim. Wesley Gonzalez was out of position. That's his first foul. You know, they wanted the Alvarez to go on an alley oop shot. But then again, you'd never pass and try to go for an alley oop when you're covered. Meanwhile, this is a Cali assist. Mug ice cold. Cali ka. Ritualo will sit down. Castro replaces him. Castro jacks up a three pointer. This one's out. Almost a steal by Jose. Inside Villanueva. They struggle for the board. Villanueva puts it up. He misses. Santa Maria says, that's enough. Well, that was point blank shooting coming from the week of Villanueva. 13 minutes and spare change on the game clock for a raucous first half. Masal leads by a point. Well, Jose thought that Cortez was committed to take it up the hoop, but then again, undecisiveness always doesn't pay. Magnum Membrere replaces Wesley Gonzalez for Ateneo. And Rainier Season replaced by Christopher Kipo. Oh, Lumit. Pero bumilis. Bumilis nga. <laughs> Membrera, the junior NCAA MVP last year. Villanueva backing in. Triple team. Wraparound pass inside. Alvarez foul going up. 
na mismatch doon. Oh, pero that was a lucky break from uh, from Julian Weba. Talagang uh, he was triple team and he was able to eye Alvarez. Mercifully, a timeout with 12 and 43 to go in the first half. Our score, De La Salle University 7, Ateneo 6. Free for Action continues. Alvarez makes his first free throw. Misses the second. He's been splitting uh, on his trips. But the charity line, Magsumbol is in the game for LaSalle. But you know, partner, this is the first time I've seen. At tagal ko na hindi nakikita. Hindi kinaut yun eh. He was stepping on the line. Oh. <laughs> Believable. Santa Maria, nakuha sa napakad ng pwesto. Pero, pinituhan ng traveling. Where for Andrew Cruz. Nahihirapan ng mga inside player, both sides of the court. Ha? Pagtanga ni Santa Maria, double, triple tip. Pagtanga naman sa kabila ni Villanueva, ganun din. Cruz is replaced by Fonashear for Ateneo. So, the rookies being given their chances here. They have proven themselves. Villanueva lost the handle. They scramble for it. Lasal comes up with it. Mike Cortez ahead of the pack. Easy basket for the Green Archers. Well, it came from a steal. And every time a steal happens, usually there is a guy running down for it. 9-6. Mem Membrera inside, Villanueva smothered, has to leak a pass out, reach in foul. You know, partner, what I think, Villanueva should do some sacrifices for the meantime. He's got to kick that ball right away before the double comes in. Kailangan bitawang ka agad. Oo, pag hindi, talagang mangyayari nito. Maraming error manggagaling on the side of Rico Villanueva. Balik tanawa natin isang fast break brought to you by Globe Hadiphone Gentex. Take it to the Gentex level. Alvarez has been uh, repeatedly going to the free throw line. Manages to get the ball where LaSalle least expects it. What a low scoring ball game. BJ Manalo and Enrico Villanueva, once the best of friends, now on... Uh, Opposite sides of the demilitarized zone. How could it be said? My friendship ends when I start to play for the opposite team. <laughs> Two of our best junior players. But outside sniping for Cortez, and that's something that has been missing for De La Salle in the first half. Now the pressure is on again. Kimpo cannot get past the double team in the backcourt. 10 second violation. Uh oh. And you can see the green and white of De La Salle being waved around half of the entire Araneta Coliseum as we resume live action. And Joe Lipa sounding the alarm right away. Ayo niyang umarangkada itong De La Salle. you know. Sometimes when there's a full court press, somebody's got to take over. And I think Joe Lipa wanted Kimbo to make sure that he orchestrates. Yon, at nakita natin ng huling time on, pinitsarahan niya si Kimbo at sinabi niya, ikaw ang nagdadala ng team, huwag mong pababayaan. Tama. Tsaka you, you're the one, you're the one to make the decision. Ito, tumo. Kimbo fouled from behind. It's on Alvin Castro, his first. Penalty na ang uh, Green Archers, kaya't kanina pang Namimitas ng free throw ang uh, Ateneo Blue Eagles. Ito yan si Kipo. Hinabon siya, ginobol siya. And I like the way the game has been played so far. The intensity has been controlled. Um, it's been a very clean, very technical game. But one thing, partner, I think later on we'll be able to see a lot of turnovers in both squads. Oo, oh, dahil uh, alam natin ang depensa dyan ang pag-ihigpitan. Like you said, it's some cards still being held by the teams. In fact, I think about three or four turnovers is created on Villanueva. Three-pointer from Castro, making up for his uh, foul on the other end of the floor. 14-9, LaSalle. And the Blue Eagles throw the ball away. A sea of blue on the other side 
on the floor and Will Wilson scored easily off the inbound but LaSalle's giving up an awful lot of fouls in this first half. LaSalle's up by seven. Well, that was the clear instructions of uh, Franz Kumar to his players, avoid giving a foul. But then again, you know, going to the full court press, I think for LaSalle it has been very effective. I counted the number of times that they went on a full court. It's seven. And out of seven, they were able to go for a three three interceptions. That's not bad. No, that's oh. almost like 40%. Larry Ponacher gets his first point. Makes both charities. Ateneo's finally in double digits. 10 and 20 to go. First half, Cortez gathering steam. Decides to pull out Wilson. Back to Cortez. Series of screens. Na libre na naman si Castro. Tapos ng konti. Mugia back in the game. Cruz. Membrere has not gotten a shot off. It's a testament to the defense of LaSalle. Membrere finally gets an open look. But look at the way the Green Archers have packed the paint. Let's go quickly to Pia Arcangel. Well, they're not giving any inches to Bill Weber. Here's a close-up courtside update with Pia Arcangel. Pia? Thanks so much, Bill. Right now, the main problems of the Blue Eagles is the fact that they're losing focus. Coach Julie Pacquiao, the last few timeouts, just to make sure that his players keep their concentration on the ball game. He says that as long as they're focused and that their mind is on the game, they can prevent committing the errors and unnecessary turnovers that have been plaguing them for the past few minutes. Back to you, Bill and Freddy. All right, later on, we'll ask Pia to report on Paul Tanchi. He's one player who's missing from Ateneo, injured his foot recently, although he did warm up in their shoot-around even before the game. We'll find out if he's going to see action today. Second foul on Bugia. And Miguelito Gozum. Here comes the full court president. At ito, mukhang uh, talagang hindi nila tatantanan ang Ateneo. Cruz forcing the shot, swatted away. And it goes over to De La Salle. So everything going La Salle's way. And at the other end of the floor, let's go quickly, quickly to a close-up courtside update with George Rocha. And that last time out, the team got a few tips from their team consultant, Derek Pomaran, saying that they have to tighten the floor, get off your man, and keep the pressure on them. Coach France also reminded the team that they, are, they have to be careful with the fouls they give away since they are already in penalty. Back to you, Bill and Freddy. All right, thanks, George. Let me to play uh, partner na ipinagawa ngayon ng Lasal Ochi is an old play, you know, where you go around on top and be able to get a free man. Ocho, actually, that's a drill. <laughs> BJ Manalo announces his entry with a basket from the outside. Villanueva fishes a foul from Gozum. Well, this game really taking away the game of Villanueva. Oh. Every time he gets that ball, he's not going to get an easy bucket. Here's a Cali three-point shot. Mag ice cold. Cali Ka. Wesley Gonzalez returns for Ateneo. Mon Jose on the floor for De La Salle. We see Manalo scarcely warmed up and hit an outside bomb. 20 to 12. La Salle trying to inch away. Villanueva with two points but just free throws. No baskets so far. Taking it to the hole, Cortez left it behind. Pero Navasa, Teneo wants to run. Gonzalez blocked from behind. You know what Ateneo will have to do? When Cortez has that ball, they should not allow him to dribble, dribble all over the court. Because once you do that, they're setting up a play. You've got to take the momentum away from the side. Bad pass by Gonzalez and Ateneo's turnovers have been killing them in this first half. They're down by seven with eight minutes to go. At ang offense ng Lasal hindi pilit eh. Well, except for that instance. 
Well, uh, you know, when you're ahead, uh, it seems that uh, everything you do is right. Okay. At yung kabila naman, parang ito, ito, pubibigyan na naman nila ng full court press ito. Uh, tingnan natin. Ano po, delikado na. Kanina, monting na nila, nila sa buta na naman sila ng shot clock, ano? Mac Kuan returns for the Green Archers and Rich Alvarez replaces Enrico Villanueva at the other end. They say almost a strip job off Gonzalez. Season for Gonzalez. Bogia, jumper is short, gets it back, puts it back in. Lucky break for the nail. Exactly, you know. Bogia didn't give up, you know, he went for a second attempt. 20 15. Call out play number three. Jose pops out, looking downstairs. Dinala sa loob. Sinalubong ni Alvarez with a foul. The thing going for Lasal right now is there is a lot of man movement. Pagdating sa Ateneo, para bang lahat sila nakatayo na lamang, di ba? Samantalang sa Lasal, lahat gumagalaw hanggang makita nila kung sino talaga yung libre. Let's take a close-up look at this foul by Rich Alvarez. Jose will go to the line. Membrere replaces season Joe Lipa. Restlessly shuffling his men dahil nagahanap siya ng kombinasyon. Paunti-unti ang uh, dating ng puntos para sa Ateneo. And so far, Jose has not scored. <laughs> Only his third point. That's right. Ito na naman, full court press na naman sigurado ito. At kita mo, apat na sa player na Ateneo nasa backcourt para lang maitawid ang bola. And Brere spots. Gonzalez finds himself open. Alvarez takes it away from Manalo. That's a problem right now with Ateneo. Their shooters are not connected from the outside. Alvarez goes baseline, spins. He's fouled. And he really took it into the defense. Second okay. foul on Gozum. Pero walang kapagapagasa pumasok yun. At napakalalim ng tira na yun. Ayun, let's try to watch out. Huh? Ito, iikot siya. He's gonna go on a 12. Drops Look at them. where he is. He's under the basket already. There's no way that that ball is gonna go inside. At hindi nakaharap. Hindi nakaharap. Nakatago. Talagang ano eh. Dahil sa defense. Ito rin. Over shoots the first. So far, the majority of his... Uh, Trips to the free throw line have not benefited Rich Alvarez. Three out of eight from the stripe. 21 16. Sal has been leading the majority, or rather all the way, in this first half. Juan. Nagahanap na mapapasaan sa loob. Umikot. Nakawala. Foul. Foul number 21. Paul Obuvia is third. Seven on the hill. Well, even if there was a foul, as you can see here on Kuan, you notice that there was a second line of defense. Oh. Santa Maria comes into the game and Baino comes in for the first time for La Salle. At nagbalik na rin si Enrico Villanueva. And a lot of misses at the free throw line coming from both teams. He misses both. And the press continues. Alvarez saw daylight, goes up, bothered by a double team. They're not going to give him an easy layup. That's why there's always another guy that's going to take on him. Lasalle in a hurry, pulled down by Villanueva. Gonzalez comes up with it. At tinutulak ngayon ng Ateneo ang bola. Makapunto sa madalian. Membrere is fouled. But look at Membrere. Somehow he's lost his confidence. He could have taken that basket from the outside. He had to attack it. Nilapit na lang. Oo, oh, mabuti na lang. Foul. Foul is the second on Kuan. And this is Misha Rabat. Our ivory face of the day because beauty begins with clear skin from Ivory Skin Clear. Andrea makes the first. Kabaganak siguro ni Ania, ni Governor Rabat. Alvarez got the ball back but was bothered at nakuha na ni Santa Maria. 
May halo na rin balas. <laughs> ha? Mag- Nakukuha na yung bola sa ilalim. Ay ba, hindi pa pumapasok at talagang nabibigyan pa ng depensa. 21-17. Manalo. Nilaglag sa loob. Mika Baino! Baino gets a bucket underneath and Alvarez just picks himself up. Six-point lead again for La Salle. Five minutes and 39 seconds. Gonzalez stumbles. Another turnover forced by La Salle. Offensive foul on B.J. Manalo. So at this point in time, you know, when there's a full court press, if I were Joe Lipa, I'll send in two guards already Mare. to be able to oh, build that one out. Oh, nahihirapan eh. Because si Gonzalez, hindi naman guardia yan. Nahihirapan siya dalhin yung bola si Baba. This is where they're missing Paul Tanchi. Exactly. Exactly. Cruz in a bind, almost losing it. Gonzalez, still plenty of time on the clock. Fakes. Runner is good. Gonzalez. Even if Baino was trying to defend on him, he sidestepped and was able to make the bucket. Six points, Wesley Gonzalez leading all scorers. Ateneo within striking distance. Cortez swatted. Oh, what a block. It came from the blind side. You know, Cortez hardly knew there was somebody following him, but there was a foul. Andrew Cruz was called for the foul, though, but still looks great. On the replay, Renren Ritualo nagbabalik para sa Telasal. Renyo season din. At uh, mukhang pipigain na nila yung outside shot. And Renren coming back into the ball game had the luxury of uh, resting for quite a while. Ang tagal ha, nakaupo si Renren. Oh. Cortez, binaon ang unang uh, free throw. Almost everybody has been to the free throw line in this first half. That's the second as well. Restores the lead of LaSalle, 25-19. Okay, ito talagang nababagalan ng pag-akyat ng bola ng Ateneo. Matik pang maagaw. One second across the timeline. And another 10-second violation. Great defense by LaSalle. I'm surprised, you know, he could have passed that ball already. He didn't have to dribble, you know. All he had to do was pass it to the wings. There were two guys on the wing. That was Gonzalez and Alvarez. Hindi ba, Freddy, pag full court press, maglagay ka ng malaki sa gitna? Isa lang. Maglagay ka lang ng tao dyan, eh. Tanggapin lang niya dyan. Tapos bumaba na lahat. Tapos na ang problema mo dyan. Cortez. Iniwanan ng defensa. Great reverse for Mike Cortez. Foul in the backcourt. Another... Second foul of Renren Ritualo, and uh, this is the biggest lead of the game. 27 19, 4 minutes 32 seconds in the balance for the first half. Well, they were able to cut the lead to four, but it's so easy for Ateneo to attack that basket and be able to get their shots off. Sa matalang ang Ateneo, ang Ateneo, pag pinul court press ng Lasal, nakakatawid sila, wala naman silang execution. Oo. Oh. Magulo ha, magulo ang laro ng Ateneo. Pag naitawid, Ateneo. wala na yung play. Nawala yung play, sa, samantalang dapat yan, pag nakatawid ka yan at pinipul court press ka, atake ka na kagad, meron na nakasetup dyan. And Lasal has taken Ateneo's key players out of the game. That's right. Villanueva has not been a factor. Even Mem- the outside shooting of Ateneo has gone south. Membrere has not shot from the outside. Tama. Jose, nakalibre. Juan Jose! Boy, a little Five points for Juan Jose. And the lead is now 10. 29-19. Joe Lipa needs a timeout. Membrere returns for Ateneo. Alvarez underneath, challenging two big men, gets a foul and makes it! Good up fake. You could consider that as a well-executed play, but then again, 
you know, he was still bothered by at least two guys. You know, it was not an easy basket no. for Alvarez to make. Challenged every step. Misses the bonus, gets his own miss, goes up strong, Rich. and makes the basket. Alvarez. What strength this guy Four point has. play. Oh, oh. He's yeah, really pumped up. What a swing, you know, now they're only down by six. Kanina, Sampuna. Ateneo trying to seize some momentum. Cortez. Well, right, that was Cortez. a tough shot. Dahil walang rebound para sa Lasal, pero naipasok pa niya. Talaga. I mean to say, that's how much confident this guy is. Villanueva pleading for the ball in the low post. Nakakuha ni Alvarez. Goes baseline, scores easily. Alvarez! Alvarez is making use of his quickness down court. Napakabilis niya sa painted area. He has nine points, Freddy. Exactly. You know, you know the difference I'm seeing right now, partner, is this, no? Sa, para sa ano, walang, walang, ano, walang uh, pressure na ibinibigay ang Lasal sa point guard. Ano? Samantala ang Lasal, yung point guard nila, ng, ng Ateneo, hindi niya binibigyan ng pagkakataon. Ni Masilip man lang oh. kung kanina ipapasa yung bola. So what I'm trying to say right now is, Ateneo should give them a dose of their own medicine. Kailangan yung point guard ng Lasal, pareho ni, ni Cortez, ikot lang na ikot, daladala yung bola, pinanunood lang nila. You have to stop it. Ganti-ganti lang yan. Ganti-ganti lang. Ganti-ganti lang. 31-25 and Ateneo making some headway here. Villanueva wants to get in on the act. Turn around is good. Villanueva. Well, that's a smart play from Villanueva. You know, when they close the door on him to be able to operate under, he's got to take perimeter shots. Kailangan. Kailangan niya. You cannot be one-dimensional. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first half. 31-27. Lasal seems to have slowed down in the last couple of minutes, Freddie. Well, you only notice it when the other team is in an upswing. No, makita tuto na natin. Dahil ngayon, tumatakbo na na tumatakbo at ngayon. Baino smothered. And it's a turnover. And look at this. You know, they're only down by four, but they have ball possession. And they have momentum. Alvarez. And this is the guy that's, you know, letting all of this happen. And that's Alvarez. Six straight points for Ateneo since that last timeout. Villanueva, nakabuelo. Fouled by Vaino, so Rico Villanueva will go to the free throw line. Will Wilson will That's step a good back call. onto the floor for Lasal. That's a good call, partner. You watch it. Bumalo siya. Suma sidestep si Villanueva. You know, he had enough energy to be able to... Uh, Take away, get away from his defensive man, but then again, he's gone through the line with two free throws. Remember, the foul line has been the Waterloo of both teams. You betcha, you betcha, it's happening. Napakahirap dumikit para sa Ateneo. Ina na kaya, ina na kaya mintis nila sa free throws. Ano? Ateneo, napakadami na, mamaya malalaman natin yan, pag-usapan natin yan sa halftime break. He gets the second. Ateneo is down by just three. Seven unanswered points. The Green Archer is now a little tentative. At ito yung sinasabi mo kanina, hinigpitan na natin na yung defense at bumabawi. Ito, pero ba't flumafloat si Alvarez? Dapat tuloy-tuloy yan. Hindi pwedeng flumafloat ka. Binibigyan nila ng buwang. A couple of uh, people in the face of Cortez. And Cortez called for going over the back of Villanueva. But you gotta give credit to Villanueva. That ball was out of reach. Look how far it is from this uh, area. Huh? With that extra effort, now he's given a reward. He's gonna go to the line. But you can see the tremendous athletic ability of these players. Pag tumalo, nakala mo, hindi na bababa. Yeah, ka. Pag bata ka, you've got all the strength. All right, Let's not get into an age discussion, partner. <laughs> we're not, we're not. And here's uh, Mr. Mekoy Kyoge, the managing director of Studio 23. And we won't tell you what school he's from, but... Uh, I know. You'll find out who he's cheering for <laughs> later on. I know. Uh-oh. Ako rin. Run out of two. Oh, yun ang problema ngayon natin eh. Free throw shooting has been horrible. Final 80 seconds of the first half. 
Nazal protecting a three-point lead which was once a proud 10. Ritualo, halos hindi makahawak ng bola. Wild pass. A little excitement coming from Renren Ritualo. Surprisingly, not giving that cross pass to Jose. It's not that tall to be able to receive it. Magbabalik si BJ Manalo pagkaraan itong timeout. Magpapatuloy ang UAAP game. by De La Salle, but before that, Wesley Gonzalez hit a jumper to bring Game Ateneo to within one. 11.7 seconds, seconds remaining in the first half. It's been a tremendous uphill climb for Ateneo. Mukhang nagkabaliktad, Freddy. Well, uh, talaga, medyo up-tempo na ngayon ng uh, Ateneo sapagkat pag nakuha nila yung bola, sila na ngayon tumatakbo. Two seconds to go, Membrere blocked by Ritualo. And that ends the first half. LaSalle valiantly protecting a one-point lead over a hard-fighting Ateneo, 31 to 30. We'll be back with all our halftime features. This is the UAAP. As the Blue Babble Battalion of Ateneo takes their turn on the floor, the halftime count still 31-30 in favor of the De La Salle Green Archers. And Freddie, you picked out a couple of highlights to make the statements that were made in the first half. Well, we actually picked just two highlights. One on the side of La Salle and the other for Ateneo. Let's go with the La Salle hi highlights that I thought was very important. All right, this one features Mike Cortez. Freddie, please yes. explain. You know, Mike Cortez, as I said, you know, he's dribbling all over the court. Not too much pressure. You see, they probably think, you know, he's not going to take the outside shot, so they're always floating at him. But you remember, if you don't pressure the guy with the ball, he's able to think, and a thinking player usually succeeds. Look at him, how he drives to the basket. A little floater here and there, going for a reverse. That's a basket. And Cortez finished in the first half, leading uh, De La Salle with eight points. That's and right. No? He, he, that was really just a matter of them giving up the baseline to a great uh, penetrator. And not only that, you know, when, when he was not pressured, he's able to think and be able to even good give good passes, in which case most of his teammates were free. All right, now the other side of the floor, this is an effort play on the part of Rich Alvarez, Freddy. That's right. It's not every day that you see somebody go on a four-point swing. So let's see what happened here. You know, Alvarez let's go for the, the basket. Highlight. And, you know, he was free on a shot. And then when he missed it on a free throw, he's going to get a bonus here. Look at this. Two guys, one of his back and in front of him, able to make it, gets a bonus. But look at what happens after he goes for that bonus shot. Oh, dahil ito, karaniwan meron ng instruction ng coach box out the player taking the free throw. Matagal na yan eh. Ang mga coaches, palagi sinasabi yan. We've always said it's a mortal sin. But look at what happens here. Alvarez now going for a bonus after okay, making that fun. basket. Oh, ito. Nalaman niya saan pupunta yung bola. Nakuha niya. Again, he goes for another layup. And that is a four-point swing. That was when really... Uh, LaSalle started to uh, put on the pedal and now they're only down by a point. Well, he actually almost stopped it in and now let's find out what's been going on. It's been an up and down first uh, half for the uh, Ateneo Blue Eagles. They were down by as many as 10 points. They roared back uh, in the last few minutes of the first half and they are now just down by a hair. Let's find out from Pia Arcangel what went on in the Blue Eagles dugout. Pia? Thanks so much, Bill. Obviously, the Eagles were struggling at the better part of the first half at the hands of De La Salle University. Obviously, their two main problems were, first of all, the fact that nobody was 
there to bring the ball inbound, especially with the absence of the regular point guard, Paul Tanchi. Everybody thought since he was practicing during warm-up and he was wearing his jersey, everybody thought he would be back in today's game, but the coaching staff has said that he still won't be seeing action today against the Green Archers. Another big problem was the fact that the Blue Eagles lost focus throughout the game. In fact, Coach Jolipa called a couple of timeouts just to make sure his players kept their minds in the game. So how are the Blue Eagles planning to remedy these, these particular problems? First of all, their biggest reminder is to help whoever is bringing the ball inbound in that particular task. For, for the greater part of the first half, it was Wesley Gonzalez, and we expect more of that in the second half. And second of all, Coach Jolipa wants to make sure that his players do have their minds in the game. In fact, he asked them, are you ready to play this game? And obviously, their answer right now is yes. We're going to be back right after this break, so stay tuned. We'll be back with more. And we're just about to start the second half. The De La Salle Green Archers up by a point over the Ateneo Blue Eagles and Freddie. Now that we've seen the numbers in the first half, what are your thoughts on uh, the strengths and weaknesses of each team? Well, La Salle really had a good scoring uh, percentage there, but Ateneo at 40, that's really bad. But worse, you see, there were very few attempts taken by both squads, primarily because of turnovers, you know. This is a very high turnover for both squads. Oh. You know, if this continues, De La Salle is going to go on 32. So, we have 26. So, we have a scoring. Natin. But the turnovers are created because you've got to appreciate the kind of defense shown by both squads. It's a suffocating press being thrown by Ateneo. Rather, La Salle on Ateneo. But then, Ateneo comes down court. Once they, they're able to bring the ball, on, uh, in the middle of the line, nandiyan dyan na naman yung full court press mm -hmm. nila, no? Kaya, yes. kaya naguguluhan ng Ateneo, no? Now, I'm sure during the half, Coach Lipa must have told the guys, you know, ang problema nila ngayon, si Kim po ang kanilang guardia, kaya tama yung sinabi kanina, partner, napakalaga si Panchi dito. Kasi si Kim po, sa tingin ko, ano yun, nagchot-choke, under pressure, no? Kaya ang ginawa ni Coach Lipa, tinanggal at ay pinasok na lamang si Cortez at si Gonzalez, yun ang nagdadala ng bola. Alright, now, uh, talking about the leading scorers, Mike Cortez has Eight points and two blocks for uh, De La Salle and for Ateneo. Rich Alvarez has nine points and six rebounds. So well, big numbers. And talking about Kimpo, there he is on the screen. Perhaps he isn't used to getting this many minutes. But then again, for William Reba, he's got to look for his game. It's important for him to participate not only in scoring because he only scored four points. No? That's far from his average of 17. But then again, he's got to go help on rebounds. He's got to be an intelligent player. Where there is a double, he's got to kick the ball out. He's not. He should not wait for somebody to go double triple. So, pagkat lahat ng turnovers niya, gusto double triple team. mga tatlo yung nangyari na yun. Ang importante dyan, Freddy, mag-usap sila ng point guard. Kailangan pagka-pwesto niya, sabay dating ng bola para hindi ma-double kagad. Tama yun. But what is important for, for Ateneo, if they want to win this game, is they've got to be able to break that uh, full court press being thrown on them. And at the same time, Pag nakalampas na sila ng half court, kailangan meron na silang set play. No? Hindi na sila maghihintay dahil naubos ang oras nila sa back court. Eh. Could you imagine, twice silang na nahulid na hindi sila nakatawid ng uh, half court uh, press Tama. ng Ateneo. And a little calm before the storm of the second half. Alfred Antonio is in the game for the first time for Ateneo. I think both squads really are throwing the best people inside. Now, this oh. was the starting lineup of uh, of La Salle, no? But this time, Ateneo, pina, hindi na nila pinagpahinga ngayon si Villan Reba, nandiyan na kagad. Eh, kailangan, kailangan na. We all know what's at stake in this game for Ateneo. Of course, for De La Salle, perpetual bragging rights, at least until the end of the next season. Ramo, uh, Jose, rather. Ritualo set up in the corner. You can expect them to make some adjustments in shooting, so it might not be that great in the first couple of minutes in the second half. They'll uh, change court now. Jose wants to go to Santa Maria, fronted by Villanueva, who takes the ball away. The turnover, and Villanueva apologizes. Meanwhile, let's go to George Rocha for a close-up courtside update on De La Salle. Yes, in the dugout, Coach France was very disappointed with their first half. Although they did have the lead, it was only one point and they ended it with very tentative shooting. Now that they're coming into the second half, they have to keep Ateneo's big men away from their posts and make them force their shots from the outside. Back to you, Bill and Freddy. Thanks a lot. Of course, it depends on the 
nangunguna sa isipan ni Coach Franz Pumare na foul. Meanwhile, called on Alfred Antonio. I think that's the main thrust. No? That's the reason why they were... You can say some puntos lang, no? But it's always better to be leading on the half, no? Rather than being down. Ren, Ren, Ritualo! Ren, Ren, Ritualo using his experience. They all know he's a great outside shooter, but uh, the shot hasn't been falling for him. So he took it inside. 33-30. At ito na naman ang press ng Lasal. Antonio, binigay kay Alvarez. Nahuli yung pasa. Villanueva diving for the ball. Membrere struggling with Santa Maria. Oh, oh. will jump it. There's also an advantage of having a run when they follow, you know. He's a threat outside, but when you try to take away his game, be able to take it from the outside, oh, he's going to attack that basket. Gonzalez will sit down. He's replaced by Andrew Cruz. At yung sinasabi mong dalawang guardia, kailangan natin eh. Ito, pinasok na. Tama. Ngayon, medyo mahihirapan sila ng Cruz or Press. Retualo over Cruz. All iron. Lead pass. Cruz trying to push it up. Decides to wait for the rest of the gang. Villanueva double team goes to Alvarez. Traveling. Lasal saw the play coming. Yeah, but that was a good pass coming from Villanueva. You know, Alvarez was cutting, but Alvarez just couldn't control the ball. Almost two minutes have elapsed in the second half, but uh, nangunguna pa rin ang De La Salle Green Archers. Ritualo to make. Napilita ipasa. Ramos with the layup. Too strong. Villanueva, quick outlet. Antonio pushing it up. Goes for the layup, rattles off the iron, and there's a foul downstairs. Well, that was an in and out basket coming from Antonio. At itong si Antonio, hindi masyadong ginagamit ni Jolie pa yan, kaya maaring hindi na pag-aralan ng Lasal. Tama yun. Oh. Pero again, you know, I think that was the right move. You know, he was running down court and he was left free. He got to go straight up. Alvarez, leading scorer on both sides of the floor. Membrere struggling. Also Alvarez goes up strong, tried to dunk it. He's fouled by Santa Maria. But they're taking away the possibility of Alvarez being able to slam that ball because it awakens the Ateneo fans, you know, and they want Ateneo to sleep. Look at the elevation here. Alvarez back at the line, but that has been his Waterloo. Uh-oh. That's the reason, you know. In the free throw area, they only scored, what, I think 40% of their shots, you know. That's 12 out of 25. That's right. Now he gets one. Ito, pinapata na rin ang Lasal, ano? Pinagsabay na rin si Juan at si Jose para magaling yung bola sa baba. There, looking downstairs, Alvarez steps into the path of the ball and throws it away. Yan ang problema ng Ateneo. Tinatapon yung bola. Oo, oh, maganda na eh. Hindi naman dapat magmadali eh. Just a basket separating the two teams. Nicuolo asking for a pick. Santa Maria rolls to the basket. Stolen again by Alvarez. This time he throws it to Cruz. Almost stolen by Jose. Traveling ball. On Andrew Cruz. But your quick hands, you know, Jose has, huh? Napakaganda ng pagkahuli niyo. Tinan mo? Alam mo, nakakasikip ng dibdib itong depensa ng Lasal. Talaga. Totoo yun. Lasal, relaxed in their half-court set. They've been trying to get the ball to Santa Maria, but he's been limited by Villanueva. Ball falls into the hands of Membrere. Ateneo wants to run. Villanueva. Great goal. Goes on the layup. Bad sign for the Green Archers. Well, Ateneo finally scoring on a uh, fast break attempt. Hirap na hirap sila, no? Kanina, dalawang beses na break. At tabla na tayo, Freddy. Lasal once led by 10. As we often say, that's history. Ritualo changing 
hands in midair, fish as a foul. You know, it takes a really great young player to move away from his uh, regular strengths and create something new. Meanwhile, a fast break brought to you by Globe Handy Phone Gentex. Take it to the Gentex level. Well, they've really taken out the game of Ritualo outside. That's why Ritualo has got to make adjustments. That's why he's on the line right now. Well, he's been making his free throws, and here's Laura Gahol of the Ateneo, our Ascend, true Filipina beauty. New Ascend, herbal hair moisturizer, release the true beauty of lively blacker hair. Substitution now, Castro replaces Ritualo, and it's tough for a player of that uh, talent to be not 100% in a big game like this. Exactly, you know, he just came from an injury. That's why I'm going to go on the transfer. I'm going to go on the transfer. I'm going to go on the transfer. Oh, my God. Now, when I'm going to go on the transfer. They've been setting screens for Membrera, but he has not been able to break free. Alvarez sidestep too hard off the glass. Antonio pulls it up. Blocked by Santa Maria. Pina Nueva taps into an open space. Membrera, long three. Yes! Huge bucket from Magnum Membrera. Oh, and Ateneo. Ateneo jumps ahead, 36, 35, 15, and 23 to play. Exactly, you know, and Mandere has tried to connect outside, but this is his first time to go for a three-pointer. Uh, living up to his nickname, Jose, kicking out to Kuan. Lasal acting like it's business as usual. Mandere pushing it up. Kuan took it away, but ran out of room. Let's take another look. Cali, three point shot. Mug, ice cold. Cali, bottom of the net. I'm not you. 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 I'm not De La Salle, Freddy, would you have expected the game to be this close, unlike the first encounter? I would. I would, because I'll expect them to make the necessary adjustments. But okay. keep in mind, you know, Ateneo has won 10 of their last 11 games. Good point. Steal by Villanueva. And Cruz is fouled. And Cruz actually moving over to help his defensive man up. Now what na lang. I think it's hurt. Let's watch this. That's Alvin Castro on the deck, but he picks himself up. Great effort there. He sprinted out of nowhere. He wasn't even in the picture. Well, in this kind of a game, there aren't going to be any free lunch. You know? They're not oh, going no. to give you easy baskets. Well, they say that sport is a substitute for war. And when you see a game like this, you tend to believe it. Although it's been very, very clean, Freddy. That's right. And they've concentrated on the game. A very classy showing for both LaSalle and Ateneo. 14.34 to go, Ateneo. Up by two now, thanks to that free throw from Cruz. And not as many fouls early in the second half, unlike in the first. Well, the adjustments have been made, huh? Alam na nila na, kasi nung una talaga sobrang dipensa, no? Gumagamit ng kamay, gumagamit ng mga illegal pick. A lot of bodying up underneath. Mono set picks up the scrap. We're tied at 37. Well, it really pays off, you know, when you give that extra effort. That's what Ramon Jose did, you know. Even he was outside, he knew that there could be a miss, and he was able to pick it up. Membrere underneath, Villanueva goes up. Good pass from Membrere. Santa Maria trying to block Villanueva, but he came in a little too late. Now Ateneo a little more focused than they were in the first half. Cortez probing, looking downstairs. Ramos, 15-foot jumper, air ball. They are going to give that shot to Ramos, you know. He should stay underneath the basket. Here's a Cali assist. But ice cold, Cali Ka.
Antonia dribbling out of trouble. This combination of Antonia and Cruz has worked for Jolifa and Membrere also. Exactly. Villanueva wants to back in, turn around over Santa Maria, catches the iron and goes in. And that's the second time he's made that attempt. Now a close-up courtside update with Pia Arcangel for Ateneo. Pia? Thanks so much, Bill. At this point in the game, Coach Jolipa has placed Alfred Antonio on court. Now, usually whenever Antonio is in the game, it's partly for matchup purposes, but it's also greatly because the coaching staff believes that he can help and that even if he is from fresh from the bench, he's very intense. And also what Coach Jolipa wants right now is more outside shots. Also, he's asking everybody to put out all stakes from Embera and, of course, more help from Enrico Villanueva. Back to you, Bill and Fred. No. Meanwhile, a great solo move from Castro, and LaSalle is just down by a bucket. Antonio being pressured, lobs it ahead. Cruz into the defense and score! You know, Antonio is doing a great job, you know? He was able to give that ball to a streaking player and able to convert, so you gotta give it to the point guard right now. Antonio is playing heads up basketball. Cortez, Jose. They lob it inside, that one is Santa Maria, he's blocked. A long lead pass to nobody in particular, Alvarez tried to give chase. Now let's hear a close-up courtside update from George Rocha on De La Salle. The archers have somehow lost a little bit of their momentum now that they're in the second half. They're giving the Eagles too many easy layups and they have to get control of the game back in their hands. To sum it up, Cool Cat Mike Cortez said that they have to make sure that they have to get the Eagles back down and they have to keep them down. Back to you, Bill and Freddy. All right, it's more of the intangibles than anything else. A little extra effort, a little hustle, more intensity. Castro taking another pot shot. This one does not go. Okay, a little more relaxed. And a little more fluid. And they're able to execute now. Moving the ball around, Membrere. Try to get it to Villanueva, not a pick Palabas, the biggest of segundos a shot clock. Ateneo. And this is Camille Alonso of the Ateneo. A beautiful smile, our nasty, refreshing face of the day in the heat of the game. Watch your temperature rise as you take a look at the freshest beauties of the sport. Ateneo missing inside, but they get the ball back. Cruz from long range! Oh, but it really started from the hustle of Membrere. You know, he was able to get that ball for a second attempt and a completion coming from guy on the side cruise. At pito na ang lamang na Ateneo, Alvarez rams into Magsumbol. Watch this, another Cali three-point shot. Mag ice cold. Cali, ka. binanggit natin yan ng first half, Freddy. Yung outside shot ang kulang na Ateneo. Kaya nakalamang ang Lasal na maaga. Nandiyan naman ang buhay nila, sapagkat if you notice, no? I'm sure they talked about this. Na si Villanueva, tinanggal yung inside game, no? So the guys will have to connect outside so that Villanueva will be able to operate inside. Samantala, pinokpok sa loob ni Santa Maria. Rainier's season is on the floor for Ateneo. Ball slips through the hands of Alvarez. Challenging the defense, he gets bumped by Santa Maria. The big men of Ateneo are trying to use their quickness to their advantage. The AAP games continue. 46-41, Ateneo leading La Salle. Tougher defensive stand now by the Green Archers. Membrere for another three-point shot. It goes in again. <laughs> And you know, ang hirap ng tira niya, no? dahil nag-float ng konting-konti lang yung tao niya. It was enough time for him to be able to look at that basket. Membrere, seven points, six of them coming off three-pointers. Cortez, testing the defense, using the glass, smart move. Less than 10 minutes to go. Alvarez fouled in the backcourt by Wilson. Well, that's a lucky break for Alvarez, you know. I think Wilson played him good defense. Oh, ang ganda, ang ganda ng uh, defense ni Will Wilson. You know, let's take a close-up look at this foul. 
And it reset the shot clock, so Ateneo had an easier time getting the ball inbound. Well, look at the kind of defense now that's being given by Ateneo. On, or rather, on Lasal by Ateneo. No? Tinan mo, tinan mo pa paano maglaro ngayon ang depensa ang Lasal. Hirap na hirap tumira ang Ateneo. Ateneo floating inside. Wilson yanks it down ahead to Cortez. Cortez gathering steam, left the ball behind. Call for traveling. That's a good call. Gusto niya sanang iwan yung bola para sa trailer. Maaari. Tumitingin siya sa likod eh. Ito, nawala sa kanya talaga. Hindi niya nakontrol. Sea of uh, blue and white in the background. Season for three. It calls. Rain. Season raining in. A three-point shot. And Ateneo has leaped ahead by nine. 52-43. Back to back triples coming from Andrere and Season. At ang isasagot ni Franz Pumarin, Ren Ren Ritual, a steal by Cruz. Fortunately, was nudged out of the way by Cosmo. And that is why you can see Joe Lipa up on his seat. You know, he's complaining. He's saying a foul should have been called. So, may have had a point. Ritualo and Jose return for La Salle. Cortez, outside to Jose. Membrera's doing a little bit of everything here. Cruz to Villanueva underneath. Season, short stab, no goal. See the veteran leadership of people like Mon Jose gets the rebound. Wilson Santa Maria blocked by Villanueva. Well, Villanueva came from the back. You know, I never expected him to be able to block the shot. Meanwhile, bothered by the defense of Cortez, gets it back. He's fouled by Santa Maria. No, it's an offensive foul. That's a good call. You know, that, that is a good call. Last second defenses of both teams have been spectacular. Look at the left hand. Ine lay up mo na lang may defensa pa. Oh, pero yung bola talaga nandudu na lumuluwa lang talaga ayo pumasok. Samantala nakahanda pumasok muli si Wesley Gonzalez. At the next dead ball situation. Eight minutes to go. Caneo up by nine. Jose trying to make his move. Ritualo, respected by Cruz, shoots in his face. Membrere has been pulling down the boards. He has four in the second half alone. Membrere for three. Not this time, and quickly to George Rocha for a close-up courtside update. Yes, in the timeout, Coach Fran said that they're behind right now because they're not putting up the proper defense. They have to recover faster for their defense. Coach Fran said that they were uh, there were many times when they're not getting off the ma their man to guard the one with the ball. Back to you, Freddie and Bill. Third foul on Ramos, Manny Ramos. Juan replaces Cortez. Still a nine-point lead for Ateneo. Neither team has scored in a couple of minutes now, Freddy. Tsaka, alam mo, parang humina na yung full court press ng Lasal. Either they're tired or they feel that it's not working anymore. They're starting to lose confidence. Maaaring pagod din dahil hindi ganun karaming player ang ginamit nila ngayon. Gonzalez trying to spin, looking for his shot, forced it. Don Villanueva trying to put it back in. May tulakan sa ilalim. It's on Gonzalez. Saying he was pushed first. And Villanueva's game really is struggling. Yeah, talagang he's a bulk man. He's really having a hard time. Even if he's going for second attempts, there are no easy baskets for Villanueva. There's always a body on him. We have a timeout by the Blue Eagles. Dallas South Green Archers find themselves staring at a nine-point deficit. They need their veterans to step up. Nicola trying, firing a blank. Fourth foul on Ramos. 
Now let's check in with Pia Arcangel for a close-up courtside update. Thanks so much, Bill. Right now, Coach Tolipa is pretty much satisfied with the way the Blue Eagles have been playing. He told his players that they're pretty much doing the right thing. All he wants right now is more of the strong defense that they've been displaying so far. He wants them to run motion and to choose carefully their opportunities to run break and, of course, to be careful in bringing the ball down. And that should basically do it for them at this point in the game. Back to you, Bill and Fred. Cruz feeding Bill and Webb. Oh, muff the layup. Go on, pushing it up. They want some easy baskets. Ritualo steps into the paint, gets a foul. You know, William Weber, you know, he had a point blank shot, but I don't know how he misses those. When they, they need it very badly. You know, they want to pad this lead because Lasal can always come back in a jiffy. Oh, pretty yun nga nga pupunahin ko sana da sa bahagi nito ng laro natin, neither team really has momentum. Well, let's face it, for, for Ateneo, this is their biggest lead of mine, no? Oh. Now, I don't know how they can sustain this also because sabi mo nga kanina, both squads really medyo nagka, nagpapakita na ng pagod, ano? It's only been Ren Ren Ritualo has been perfect from the free throw line. Four out of four, and he brings LaSalle closer. Season for three. Strong. Holding foul on Jose. Unsportsmanlike foul. Unsportsmanlike foul. foul. Let's check that. Inawakan sa braso. Oh. Si Alvarez. Back to the front. Back to the front. Back to the front. Back And Ateneo keeps possession. Cruz replaced by Membrebe. Membrebe was one of the authors of this lead. Ateneo. Blue Eagles. Ateneo. Let's so not, if it's let, an unsportsmanlike foul, Freddy, that's yeah, two free throws and ball possession. Exactly, but let's not forget uh, Alvarez, the guy that has the ball right now, taking a free throw because he was very instrumental um, in keeping them afloat. Lalo na nung first half. Still struggling with the charities, getting just one. Court inbound for the Blue Eagles. Very against Ritualo. Ritualo picks his pocket but loses it to the sideline. Montgomery, you know, he's struggling to try to dribble that ball. He's got to pass it, you know, maybe give it to Gonzalez or even Alvarez. He shouldn't be dribbling. He has to find his mark. He has to go to that sweet spot. 23 seconds on the clock for Ateneo. Season being guarded too closely by Kuan. And the players have really managed to keep their emotions in check, Freddy. Yeah, even if uh, the calls have been very tight, which is right. No? Dapat ipagpatuloy yung pagtatawag ng referee para kaka, hindi ma makontrol nila palagi itong laro na ito. Season goes to the free throw line. Uh, the Green Archers in the penalty. Napakatagal pa nito, no? Penalty Five minutes, 27 yeah. seconds. And you can expect LaSalle to make a run very shortly. Season has uh, hit a free throw and a three-point shot. No two-point field goal so far. That's both. Adeneo's up by 10. Maria wanted to post up. Jose for a long three. No. Alvarez scrapes it off the board. Almost a steal by Jose. Shot clock 27. Oh, Alvarez had the right intentions. You know, from the backboard, they wanted to go down really fast. But what an anticipation coming from Jose. Alvarez is limping. He looks, looks a bit hurt. And... Derek Pumarin in the stands, of course, very supportive of his brother's efforts as a head coach of uh, De La Salle. You, know, you notice one thing, partner. Oh, at the start of the ball game, 
when LaSalle was on top, all the players of LaSalle will sit down and Ateneo players were standing up. Now that Ateneo is on top, Ateneo players are still standing up and LaSalle players are now also standing up. <laughs> Maybe it helps. <laughs> Almost a steal by Cortez who just returned. Membrere saw daylight, reverse layup too long. It will go to LaSalle. Bugia replaces Alvarez who may have hurt his right ankle. Medyo nasaktan nga siguro kanina on the rebound play. No? But Membrero, you know, this game really is to take an outside shot. You know, when you attack the basket and you're not used to taking those kind of attempts, you'll end up not converting. Kuan na alusot sa ilalim. Only the first field goal for Mac Kuan. Membrero. Stolen by Ritualo. That's experience. Ah, kanina pa siya minumuntik-muntikana ni Renren Ritualo. Ngayon, nakumpleto na. Pinipinahan. Santa Maria. Really had to make room for himself against Vigan Renren. And now, LaSalle is putting the pressure on. That's right, you know. Santa Maria, a little push, a little hit here and there on the body of Vigan Renren was able to convert. Wesley Gonzalez crossing the timeline just in time. Ang Ateneo medyo natataranta, Freddy. Alam mo, ngayon dapat magpasok na ng point guard. Legitimate point guard si, ano, si Joe Lipa. Magulo na naman ang laro niya. Mari niyang ibalik si Antonio na marami tinulong kanina. Maganda yung laro kanina. Tama, dapat ibalik niya. Or even Kimpo. But I put Antonio more than Kimpo right now. Juan using a screen and getting a layup. It's the guards of LaSalle who are doing the dirty work. And LaSalle is within four points. Ito na. Ito na naman ang full court press. At malaki nagdadala ng bola para sa Ateneo. Hindi maganda senyales yan. Talaga. They make it across the timeline, but just barely. Season for three. Rattles out. Bugia trying to pull it down. Gonzalez stolen by Juan. Of who are not only converting, but you know, going for loose ball recoveries. Each team has made its run. Three minutes and 20 to go. Who won? Pick and roll. Santa Maria gets the basket. Santa Maria, Santa Maria has done it over and on top of Rico Villanueva. And we have a timeout. Ateneo's lead has. Shriveled to two points, 55-53. Hang on to your hats. We'll be back. Here's a Cali assist. But I spoiled Cali guy and the De La Salle Green Archers have burned the Ateneo Blue Eagles with an 8-0 run in the last two minutes. So our score stands at 55 for Ateneo, 53 for De La Salle. Rich Alvarez has returned for the Blue Eagles. He and Andrew Cruz, they need some expert ball handling here because of the full court pressure of LaSalle, a constant threat. They constantly swarm the one with the ball. Cruz going all the way to the hole. Alvarez puts it back in. Look at Alvarez, you know, having injured himself earlier, you know, he's back right away and doing everything possible, going for second attempts. He has 13 points and 10 rebounds, Freddy. What a player. Two minutes and 40. Ritualo fakes Gonzalez into the air and buries a three-pointer. You know, Reverend Ritualo has protected that fake, you know. Once you go out in the air, he's going to wait for you to go down and he starts to go up and try to get that attempt off you. Steal by Cortez. Ritualo evading the defense, whips it inside. And Massad. Boy, all Let's five take players. Take it to lead. 58, 57. Partner, all five players of LaSalle have scored in this particular run. Wow. Gonzalez, double team, bumped by Ritualo. Ball number four, Ren Ren Ritualo. That's his third. I think it's about time. Joe Lipa will have to send another point guard. He's got to send it. Babalik si Membrera. Meanwhile, let's review a Cali assist. Mag ice call. Cali Ka. This one replaced by Mewere. Two free throws for Gonzalez. 
Kanina, partner, na nahimik na itong mga archers. Halos matutulog na. Ngayon, nagising na loko na. Ito problema na naman. Each team has led by 10. Green archers in the first half, the Blue Eagles in the second half. Gonzalez has tied the game and put Ateneo back on top. He does. 59-58. Low scoring game Final compared to their first encounter, which was on one. 94-70. We're in the last two minutes. Juan in trouble, had nowhere to go. Pass it to Gonzalez. Villanueva picks it out. Villanueva popped by Santa Maria. Why not? You know, he knows that uh, Lasalle is on penalty. He's going to attack that basket. That's he wants the, to go to the line, but he's not been doing very well out there. That's the fourth foul of Santa Maria, who has played almost the entire second half. Lasalle calls a timeout. They trail by one. At the free throw line. Clean hit on the first. Makes the second as well. Three point lead for Ateneo. Cortez works around the screen. Looking for an opening. Go on, long shot. They battle for it. Villanueva pulls it down. Gonzalez safely across the midcourt line. Cruz. Alvarez hangs in the air and is fouled. The problem for LaSalle now is that they have been in penalty for such a long time. Every time they make a tough defensive stand and are called for a foul, they cannot get momentum because Ateneo is busy shooting free throws. You know, I think. I think Alvarez is more deadly when he's on the move. You've got to bring him out, you know, so he'll have to dribble because I don't think he's really that great a dribbler to be able to swing away from different defensive, defensive players. Pag nakabuelo na, delikado. Pag, mahirap na pigilan eh, pag nakabuelo na siya kasi sa lakas niya lumundag, naitatago na yung bola, naiihilag niya. Didn't have his legs under him for that first free throw. Four-point lead for the Blue Eagles. Trying to avenge their opening day loss to De La Salle. Look at Gonzalez, the way he's putting a defense on Ritualo. Oh, he's practically in his jersey. Ritualo does get the ball, finally. Trying to create an opening, asking for a screen. Goes to Cortez on the outside. They call a foul on Gonzalez. Well, that's a pity on Ateneo. I think they played good defense, you know. Rutualo wasn't able to look at the basket, you know. But then again, you know, good passes coming from Rutualo, playing decoy and be able to pass it to Cortez. And Cortez tried to go on a fake. Seventh team foul on Ateneo. Under 40 seconds to go. Asal needs big basket and a stop. Cortez from long range, it goes! Boy, what a shot, what a shot. Well, we were asking for a big basket, he gave us one. Ateneo's lead is just one point. Lasalle gambling on a steal in the backcourt. 26.5 seconds, they may have to foul. And there it is. Now there's a lot of pressure on Alvarez to make the free throws. You did satisfy you if he makes 50% of the shots. At this particular stage, I'd say yes. Well, he makes one, they'll be up by two. Exactly. Iba yung two, iba yung one. Napakalaking bagay nun. Dahil oh. ang pressure mapupunta sa, sa Ateneo yan. Pero mas maganda pa rin pag naibuslo niya pareho. Ay, kung kaya niya, pati hindi, no? Uh, for Ateneo, no? For Lasal naman, I'm sure. They don't want him to make any yes. of his shots. That's why they fouled him. And he's trying to act cool. Para napakadali. 
a lot of pressure on that first one. Gets the second as well. Three-point advantage for Ateneo. Rosal needs a basket in a hurry and a three-pointer if possible. Exactly. exactly, but they don't have to go for a three-pointer. They have to go for a quick two. Mare Cortez. It goes off the back of Wesley Gonzalez. Ritualo. Go on for a long one. It's off. Good break as Wilson got the ball underneath. Was able to shrug off the defense. 5.7 seconds. One point lead for Ateneo. Let's find out if what Joe Lipa has on his mind. Rex, you will be okay. Andrew, you will be the one to inbound the ball. Okay, clear. I now I like you to align this way. You will align at the free throw line. Clear. Then we run our set is free. Now I'm so uh, that you will be pressure. Okay? No violation. You can no longer move your feet there because it came from a timeout. Okay, ball fake. Lahat, align, ah. Uh, the way we run break, then just hold the ball. You don't have to pass the ball anymore. Just hold the ball. Coach, coach, mga alignment pa lang, coach. Mga alignment, dito na kami. Yeah. So, hindi, okay. na, hindi na yung ganun. Hindi na. Basta na. Basta, sir, ang movement natin. Oh, okay, ibalat tayo dati pa rin. Basta ang movement natin. Pero dito, ha. Dito, sa basta dito, ha. All right, so Joe Lipa just diagramming the way they're going to get the ball inbounds. They don't have to pass the ball, and that's a very good point. You can hold on to the ball for five seconds or more. Well, because he knows that the player who receives it is going to get fouled right away. Uh -huh. What they're going to put is they're going to put a, a alignment on the free throw line. You know, you know these three guys, no? They'll be going separate ways. Strik a stack formation that they spray out. Alvarez is pushed from behind and his last trip to the free throw line he made both so that just took eight tenths of a second off the game clock 4.9 seconds this game is not over Santa Maria has been fielded back in for rebounding purposes Franz Pumara taking the opportunity to huddle his boys two free throws for Alvarez where are the LaSalle players you know Alvarez makes it, 17 points. He gets both, three-point lead for Ateneo, and all they have to do is slow down LaSalle and deny a three-point shot. Cortez takes a long one. It does not, it does not go, so Ateneo de Manila has locked up second place in the UAAP. They have avenged their loss to De La Salle and they have the twice to beat advantage in the final four. And they cheer the gallery and the gallery cheers them. What a terrific win by Ateneo. They were down by as many as 10 in the first half. Came back strong, La Salle threatened and yet Ateneo found its poise. Well, you'll notice that we never expected that this game was going to go down the wire on a oh. free throw shooting, you know, and Alvarez, who's not doing very well, you notice, you notice we mentioned about him doing only, what, less than 40% of his free throws, but in his last four attempts, he, made he all of them. converted all of them. Our uh, Where player of the game. The most. Player of the game, right. 18 points, 11 rebounds, 2 steals, 2 assists, and he really came up big in the crowd chatting, MVP, why not?